In this video I will show how to analyze a truss in a robot. Uh, first open um, a robot and then click on new and choose um, a truss to the design. Uh, when it opens, uh, the first thing that you need to check uh, in tools preferences, uh, check that uh, it's set to Great Britain and um, if it's not uh, you can change it click accept and then you need to close robot and start it again and open a new file uh, for the new preferences to, to be uh, applied now uh, to do anything in robot always go from the top layout menu uh, because the windows arrange conveniently then uh, first, when you click on nodes, mm, the nodes in the example mm, will be uh, can be applied easiest by just clicking. So the first node is at zero zero, and the crosshair help you crosshairs help you to find that point. The next node we can say node 2 is 4 meters up and 3 meters to the right so it has coordinates 3 comma 4 mm, node 3 is 6 meters uh, to the right and 0 up so it's 6 0 uh, then we have uh, next node is 9 meters to the right and 4 up so 9 4 and last one is 12 meters to the right uh, so 12 0 and if we make a mistake we can uh, change here and we, when you clicking make sure that this is appearing green if not then you click in this box so these are our nodes uh, next we skip members we go to sections materials mm. if um, Great Britain is set as default then it will show S275 still and we need to uh, add the section uh, so we want here uh, to click on chorus uh, here uh, CHS and uh, choose the correct section which is 76.1 times 3.6 and then click add I have already added it so it's already there but if not you just add and close and now the section has been, been added to your file uh, we can now use that section to create bars or members in previous version they are called bars and not members but it's the same thing I'll start uh, by placing uh, bar number one so I'm just checking this is correct section and beginning should appear green so uh, if not then I would need to click here so now I go 1 to 2 uh, 1 to 3 I usually go from lower to higher and um, number joint 2 to 4 and moving from left to right 3 to 4 so I'm clicking first on the beginning and then on the end and uh, this, this way I created seven uh, members or bars uh, which are needed for this example mm, I now need to add supports and um, because I've done this previously I have something which I will delete so uh, when you do this you will have these two supports as default so pin support is at uh, node 1 so if I select pinned mm, it's not selecting it though ah yeah it is so it will show like this and then when you click on node 1 you can apply it it doesn't look like pin support but that's how it's shown in the truss uh, project type uh, file in robot. Uh, now at node 5 I need a roller so I don't have a roller I only have fixed and pinned but I can create a new support type rename it roller and then 
because roller rolls in the x direction horizontally it's not fixed so it's only fixed in the z direction make sure I untick iux and add and close so now that I have roller support I can just click on node 5 and it will apply it there and last thing we need to do is the loads before uh, specifying loads we'll specify load cases uh, we have two load cases one is dead load dl1 and this is when we add it uh, we can see here at the bottom that the self weight is added to it so dead load one is usually uh, dedicated to the self weight and then we can add a new load case so let's call it live load and add it and this is where we will actually um, add our forces which are two vertical forces and one horizontal so you, if you go to load definition and point um, yes so we have two forces of 100 and they are downward so they are minus 100 in the z direction we add them and then click and click to the nodes where they should appear and we have also a horizontal load of 15 uh, but don't forget to delete the one the hundred in the z so we only it only should show 15 in the x and nothing in z and this horizontal force is at this node uh, when I applied it it doesn't really show because it's much smaller and they are scaled so to, to be sure you apply them you can click on load value description here bottom uh, right yellow icon and that will show us actually I didn't apply it okay yes of course because I have just added added that force and then I need to also apply it and now it's there so now I applied all three forces and also you can check in the load table underneath the screen uh, window so this is dead load which is self weight and then we have two vertical forces and two no and one horizontal force uh, in the live load uh, case uh, this is all our input done so I will save the file uh, let's call it trust one yes and I will now calculate and there are no issues with the results with the calculations so I'll go to results if you haven't applied the, the um, support then you will get an error uh, in the calculation but and then you need to go and check the support so now I will display first uh, reactions so reactions tab and then all, this will show all the reactions and descriptions to show the values and apply. Uh, note that these reactions are for the dead load, so when you get your results, you need to make sure they are showing for live load, so the, for the actual forces we applied, not for self weight. We don't care about self weight in this example. Uh, so we can see that the forces are 120 and 80. Uh, if you do a simplest check, just the vertical load applied was 100 and 100. So uh, sum of forces is 200, and the same is the sum of vertical reactions. So that's fine. And another check would be to find, um, say, that the moment about a uh, a node like a is zero. So you have like. Uh, uh, the, the forces and the reactions uh, give uh, when you add all the moments they give zero uh, once that is done uh, we can and you're happy that your results are correct we can now click on none and apply to hide uh, the reactions and show forces in the members so for uh, trust we only have axial force which is fx
fx means in the x direction of the member which is along the member and that is tensional compression force so I will apply and whilst we, we have the diagrams we don't have any values so I need to go now to the parameters um, and click labels differentiated and field so this will show differentiated um, tension and compression in this case purple is compression and yellow is tension in robots, uh, tension appears as negative in the results, tension and tensile stress, and compression is positive. So we can see now, if I show the, if I click on the second um, yellow icon uh, at the bottom, I can show the no, uh, bar numbers, and we can see that um, uh, there is some confusion as to forces in some members uh, for example force in member 4 is not really showing uh, the force in member 6 is not really showing and it's not clear what this hundred is so for that reason it's good to display a table of forces and this is by clicking on the tables uh, forces okay and then just slightly resize it so you can see you can see your structure so they're here the table is here uh, so what you can see in the table uh, just looking at load case 2 uh, that force in member 1 is 150 and that is compression and force in member uh, 4 which is not displayed is 105 compression so this will be 105 here for member 4 member 5 is 100 and member 6 is 60 so that's also not shown so all the member forces can be read from here just note it's case load case 2 not load case 1 load case 1 is the self weight the dead load uh, once you're happy with this uh, you can go back to NTM hide that those diagrams and then mm, show the deformation deformation nodal displacement and apply so this shows the displacement maximum displacement on this truss is 13 millimeters uh, this is the total but you can display uh, just vertical uh, displacement if you want to or uh, just horizontal so this is displacement I'll hide it now and you can use this to show stresses by clicking here and apply but there is a more detailed way which is stress analysis members uh, member that we want to see is the first diagonal so member one apply and then if this is showing dead load make sure it's showing live load apply and it's showing us that the maximum stress in this member is 182.94 so it's positive so it's compression uh, and it's in megapascals mm. so that's all for this question